Hello there friends. So in this part of the video, I will walk you guys through on how to add layouts. So there can be many layouts that we can actually add to our page in Bootstrap. So one of the ways that we can add using containers. So containers is the most commonly used page layout feature that can be utilized in any of the pages. So what does container does is actually it gives like a specific styling properties to your page. So it looks much more neat. And in this case, I'd like to give like an example of what kind of styling properties it does add. It can be in either in padding and of course text alignment and of course and also it gives a specific max width. And this is basically one of the ways where we are able to use to make our page far more neat and responsive at the same time. So as you can see when we scroll a bit to the bottom right here, we are able to find there are many ways containers can be used for almost every single sizes of screen. As you can see there's container and of course container SM and container MD right here. All of this actually representing the, the max width that will be applied to your page whenever when you use this particular feature called container. So as you can see what does it and of course it also applies to a specific screen sizes and resolution for example for extra small sized screens where the, the size of the width will be less than 575 pixels this particular container will be having 100% of width and this is the basic idea of what does this particular table is all about. It's basically is to have the name of the container and of course and the max width it will apply to their respective screen sizes and let's actually look on how to actually make use of all of this in actual code so that you'll be able to have a better visualization of how to use container and right now in my code right here I happen to have a simple text components right here which is h3 and a p tag right here and of course as you can see on my right hand side you will be able to find the actual components right here so in this case I have to add containers for the for the first time right here so now in order to add container I like to of course I'm going to be wrapping this particular two of this particular components with div and there you go right now you need to be having this particular two text components has already been wrapped within a div and all I have to do just need to be adding container styling properties and there you go I just added container right here and you're able to find as some change has been made the first change you'll be able to find there is some a gap has been formed on both of the sides right here. The reason why is because of this particular div is already been applied max width and max width added right here. So as you can see when I just click on this particular thing right here, you'll be able to find a max width of 720 pixels has been added. And this particular max width will be changing according to the screen size. As you can see when I just reduce the screen size, the max width also changes accordingly like this. And there you go. This is how a basic idea of container is basically. And let's actually add like a simple border in our code. So in this case, I like to add just beside this particular container right here. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be adding border just to give us a better visualization on where is this particular container is actually formed. And there you go. Right now, as you can see here, when I when I try to change the screen sizes, in this case, I like to use this particular toggle device emulation. As you can see right here, I'm using iPhone. So iPhone is basically the smallest, uh, which is basically one of the smallest. And if you can change it to a tablet size, in this case, I like to change it to iPad mini. So as you can see, when I change it to iPad mini right here, where the where the minimum width is basically 768. And if you were to compare it to your minimum width right here, 768 pixels, you'll be having 720 pixels max width. And this is basically the same as what it has been applied right here. When we apply container for a size where the width is greater than or equal to 760 pixels, you will be having 720 pixels of max width. And this is basically the same as what's actually being applied right here. And let's say if I were to reduce the size to 576 pixels right here, and in this case, I like to just like make it responsive so that you're able to find, we can actually control the width right here. So in this case, I like reduce the width. And let's say if I would like to go to less than 760, less than 760 pixel right here as you can see right now we happen to have 769 and if I just reduce it a bit to 766 you'll be able to find the the max width has just reduced to 540 pixels right here and this is how it actually works and of course if I re reduce the size of the width from 576 pixel right here you're able to find the max width becomes 100% 
as you can see when I reduce it a bit less than 576 which is right here as you can see right now now the max width has become 100% like this because we are using 756 pixels right here x for extra small size screens and when you hover on top of this you don't find any max width styling properties has been applied it's just you'll be able to find the width equals to 100% has been applied and this is the basic idea of what does container even means is to have max width and of course is to at the same time to center this particular div right here and of course this is the basic idea and let's say we have also have other container style effects as well and in this case we have container dash sm and what does container dash sm literally means is that it's actually like a smaller container but actually it's, it's like actually the same right here the difference will only be be starting from md right here whenever when you are having container is uh, meant for extra small and small it will be 100 percent and of course let's give go to lg so lg will be 100 um, percent max width all the way up to medium and of course of course of course same like xl xl will be all the way up to large double xl will be 100 percent all the way up to extra large and of course fluid will be always be 100 and of course that's that's this is the basic idea of all the containers so let's actually make use of other containers as well and there you go as you can see this is the first one right here for comparison i like to make a copy of this first and i like to like place it right below right here and inside the, the bottom right here like in, instead of just a uh, container i like to change this particular container dash md so what does this means is that the max width will become 100 percent until to a certain level and that level is basically all the way up so extra small and small will be 100 percent and only for medium size screen it will be 720 pixels as you can see here when i increase it a bit it becomes the same as the one at the top right here so it only applies 100 percent all the way up to small and extra small size screen like this and of course let's actually make it a bit more smaller like this and and let's say if i would let's say if i like to have another new container styling in this case i could have instead of container dash md i like to change it to md to lg like this and you will be able to find these two having almost the same but when i increase the size a bit like here as you can see the third one which is lg does not is actually filling up the entire space and of course that's how it actually that's the basic difference and if i reduce it a bit like this you'll be able to find these two having 100 percent and of course it won't the max width only applies when only when the width of the screen is actually becomes for large size screens only and that's the basic idea and of course let's try the last one which is the container dash fluid let's see what happens for for comparison in this case instead of lg right here i'm going to change it to fluid so when i change it to fluid right here you will be able to find this particular the last one right here which i'll just name it fluid text this particular fluid container right here you're able to find the max width will not be applied in any way because it's like it's like 100 percent all the time and as you can see right here you're able to find the other max width will be applied and those are the basic ideas on how to make use of containers for your page and of course containers can be used in most of the time because containers are the most commonly used styling properties in bootstrap because it's best for making your page looks much more responsive and of course it will be it will be very helpful when you are actually making your content to become very responsive on almost every single pages and that's the reason why we are using container for most of the instances and that's the end of this particular part of the video let's catch up on the next one